Hello my friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna use the chestnut brown and uh, gold paracord 550 buckles and the jig. Before we start, the credit for today's project goes to our friend and the brother Pavel Makurin over the Citus 550, so make sure to check the description box down below where I'll post the link to Pavel's Instagram profile. Also, if you want to learn how to make this beautiful paracord bracelet I am wearing today, or the tutorial for this 4 strand bracelet core with two working ends, you can find in the top right corner information cards also down below in the description box. Or our previous projects, like these two keychains, check the information cards and the description box. So that being said, we're gonna start. As you can see, we set our 4 strand bracelet core with two working ends. Now we're gonna insert our chestnut brown into the bracelet core so I'm gonna take the fit and we're gonna pull it through these house hitches here where the gold exits this and then from the top into these house hitches on the right Create a little loop on the end. To secure your brown cord. And then pull it. And tight it. Like so. So here we set our breasted core strands and working ends. Now we're gonna start. I'm gonna take the right side gold and place it or pass it under the core strands and pull it from the back through the middle between second and the third core strand and to the side like so. Now with the chestnut brown I'm gonna pass it on top of the core strands and the gold one like so, cross it and then from the back we're gonna return it through the gap between first and the second core strand from the right side so around and from the back through and pull it now we're gonna take our left strand and we're gonna pass it under the core strands and then through the middle and to the side then we're gonna take our brown and from the top cross it around and return it from the back through the gap between first and second core strand from this left side and through. Now we're going to repeat, so from the back through to the side. On top cross it, then return it from the back through the gap between first and second core strand and pull.
So here we are. Our today's project is finished. I hope that you like it. If you do, don't forget to leave a like, share this video with your friends and family. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and hit the bell button so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. So that being said, until the next tutorial, stay safe, be well, wishing you just best and see you soon. Enjoy and have fun. Bye!